understanding words from context. We have to know how to understand words from context. Al-Husul ala ma'na al-kalima bis-siyaq. This is what we have to do here in this video. So the first way is by looking at the synonyms, the muradifat. And that's for example in this sentence here, the man was polite towards his teacher. He was very nice to him. So we want to find out the meaning of the word polite. We look for a synonym or muradif. And that is here, nice. So we understand that polite is something to do with being nice. The second way is by looking at the antonyms or the contrast. A tabayun wa tanaqat. An antonym is the opposite of the word. So we have, for example, I abhor pizza, but I love burgers. So we look for the meaning of the word abhor. And we can find out this meaning by looking at its antonym or a contrast. And that which helps us to get the contrast is but. And usually this will make it easy for us to know the opposite of the meaning or the contrasting meaning. And that is love. I abhor pizza, but I love burgers. So the word love helps us understand the meaning of the word abhor, which means hate. Cause and effect. As-sababu wa natija. For example, Reem went to see the doctor because she was ill. So, we know that she went to see the doctor. So this was the result. So something had to happen before. This is the natija. So therefore we know that her being ill was the sebab, yani the cause. So, going to the doctors because of something helps us understand the meaning of ill. And that is, of course, she was sick. So, Reem went to see the doctor because she was ill. And she was ill, so she went to the doctor. This is cause and effect. So, we know that when you go to the doctors, you are sick. Thank you for listening today.